Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, 18 March. Limit down here, S&P's 20, 2393 in the June. Um, we're still in the uh, just sell extended rallies mode. And uh, I think we're going to be this way you know, for another uh, 20 days or so. So let's take a look what happened yesterday. Yesterday was quite interesting because we had this big dollar shortage trade. Euro broke through 110.50. Uh, high's been 45 tonight. Cable through 122 all the way down to uh, 120.04. Uh, bounce back a little bit. Same thing, dollar Swiss up to 96.50, I believe. Yeah, here we are back at uh, 86. Uh, there is an argument for um, this trade to reverse today, mainly because the Fed starts flooding the market with liquidity today. There was some value date stuff. Um, and so there was a shortage yesterday, um, and some of the things that I've read point to the fact that the liquidity in the repo and the liquidity available, uh, commercial paper liquidity, uh, should all be eased a little bit more today. Uh, and it, I'm not super clear on this, uh, but look out for a reversal of this, um, of this trade. Typically, in one of these sort of panic, uh, fear periods, we do get dollar strength, uh, but then inevitably we get dollar weakness because the Fed has to take action. And let's face it, ECB really did nothing. Fed dropped, uh, raised to zero, and started QE. This is not good for the value of the dollar. So. We'll be looking for places to sell the dollar today, tactically short. Um, I hate to bring up the gold chart, but here it is. Uh, no, no dog in this fight right now, but today maybe gold um, could be our horse. We'll have to see. We saw yesterday a um, pretty powerful move up from 1460 all the way to 15. 55, 95 point, 95 dollar move, uh, kind of equal to this 100 dollar down move uh, from the 16th. This type of move makes me think gold is turning a little bit and may move back into the um, safe haven type of trade. The charts aren't super useful in these periods uh, because they're just so stretched and and um, so, you know, in dollar yen, you might want to just look to sell up at 107.20, uh, which was sort of a breakout point yesterday. It will be a pivot today. Otherwise, you want to sell when we, we fill this gap, uh, 107.96. But again, it's more of a feel, trade and feel market than a technical uh, market for now. Most importantly in all this fixed income, we've been talking about it. It's here. It's turning. It's going to be harsh. Uh, fixed income is going to collapse. European fixed income is going to collapse because people are going to question solvency. Um, U.S. fixed income is going to collapse just because the market's caught massively long. Uh, and people are waking up to the fact that owning bonds with a zero yield um, is not doesn't make any sense you know bonds used to be a place where you can park money because also you, you got a yield now you're either losing money say in boons you lose 43 basis points a year um, or with the tens you know I don't know what the 10 year yield is right now let's take a look uh, 1% it's not much it's not super attractive uh, so be careful of the big 
fixed income turn. Yesterday was a very, very powerful day in tens. As you can see, this bar here, we traded up to 138, but bang, all the way down to 135, three point move. Um, we are sellers of rallies in fixed income. I encourage you all to think about this deeply. This is gonna this is a very powerful trade. Should be some good money to be made in this as people liquidate um, their fixed income holdings. That's really all I got today. I'm kinda tired, as you can probably hear. Let's see what the calendar says. Not that economic data is driving things at all, but it's just good to know what's going on. Canadian CPI today, that's backward looking. No one really cares about that. And also Kiwi GDP out tonight. Um, not really much, uh, not, not really much to say. Final CPI from Europe. Um, the theme today is just to sell fixed income. So we're selling rallies and fixed income. Boons and tens uh, are our horse. And we will be looking to also sell dollars. So maybe dollar yen a little bit above 108, dollar Swiss uh, between sort of 90 and 20. So short dollars, short fixed income today. And then we'll trade stocks as we see it. Good luck out there, people. We will talk to you tomorrow.